I think any parent would say they would go the extra mile for their children. Well, how about mountain biking almost 3,000 miles? That's how a pawpaw man plans to honor the memory of his son while also supporting other families dealing with the same stresses of pediatric cancer. When you ask Mark Lander how he's doing, he always has the same answer. Peachy. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I just kind of picked it up along the way. It makes everybody smile when they receive it. That kind of joyful attitude must run in the Linder genes, shining the most through their son, Kevin, their superhero. He loved super anything superhero related. Um, and so then just the strength that he showed during his treatment and just kind of the way that he lived his life, he became our superhero. At just two years old, Kevin was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma, a very rare form of cancer. He was having trouble walking when we finally got diagnosed after six weeks of trying to figure out what was going on. His um, bone marrow was 90% tumor. Kevin fought the cancer the best he could, but lost that battle at six years old. Absolutely brutal, right? Like words can't even really describe it. Kevin passed in 2013 and the Linder family still finding new ways to honor their son's memory and support the pediatric cancer community. I figured let's do something epic. Let's do something fun. Let's go on a, an adventure and I love to ride the bike. An adventure Mark is fittingly calling the epic bike ride. From the end of May to the end of July, he'll travel the Great Divide mountain bike route from Alberta, Canada to Antelope Wells, New Mexico. 2,700 miles and more than 160,000 feet of elevation. I mean, it's like climbing Mount Everest five times, right? And so it's, that is gonna be um, probably the hardest part. Highlighting the physical and emotional parallels between mountain biking and caring for a child with cancer. There's a lot of challenges, especially riding a bike, a lot of uphill, a lot of days where you're not feeling very good or there's weather like today. Um, you just kind of have to push through that. The motivation, will make this a bit easier, hoping to raise $50,000 to support the very same pediatric cancer organizations that helped their own family through the same struggle. So it's a healing process for us, and it's, um, it's a way to show the other families that when the worst happens, you can still you can get still get through life. There's still life after the passing of your child. Mark plans on documenting as much of the journey as he can and posting all these pictures to a website they have created. Also on that website, you can donate to help them reach that fifty thousand dollar goal. You'll find a link to their website on our website with this story on Fox17Online.com. Reporting from Pawpaw, Max Goldwasser, Fox17 News.